Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our search for the Full Moon Party, and more importantly, Omega. Yeah. He is the one who gave us the Space Stalker. Is he going to be the one to give us the jetpack? What do you think, K-Mac? Could be the jetpack. Could be uh, something that we actually hook onto the Space Stalker to help fly the Space Stalker up to the UFO, maybe? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. We're definitely trying to find Omega here, and the most logical place to find him would be the full moon party. Yeah. Uh, some of our subscribers have come out and told us that there is a mysterious party located in the Mirror Lake section of Los Santos, so we'll check that out. Uh, one thing we do want to point out here is the green lighting of the Space Docker is pretty prominent here in the downtown Los Santos area. You can even see it on that main building there that's under construction, especially when you get farther away from it. Kind of looks uh, a little bit ominous there. Looks a lot like the same color you can see here from the Space Docker illuminated below us. Also, the FIB building and the IAA building it has that same green lighting from the Space Docker. Uh, FPS Kyle, you taking anything from that, or you think it's just a coincidence? Uh, I mean, it does stand out. It might be just a coincidence. Uh, I think on the building, it's a white light and has a green background, mm -hmm. uh, like from the Tars. But uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of green uh, symbolism in this game. So uh, doesn't doesn't surprise me if they have something linked there. Yeah, more green lighting over there in that uh, little cul-de-sac mm -hmm. to the left. All of those houses are freshly built. And if you look to the right, there's a section that's under construction. Now, there's a light down there, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, one is lit up. Let's go check it out. Uh, we want to give a shout out to uh, Chris Labe, uh, Venomous Cirrus, and GS Jawa. Um, all those guys, as well as many others, have really uh, Robbie helped Simon. out. Robbie Simon was the uh, one who had also pointed Robbie this Simon. one out here at this spot. Um, definitely those guys have uh, helped out a lot in our hunt for the full moon party. Uh, this is a big deal. Um, you know, Where could it be? In the last episode, we found a place that we thought could possibly be it. But uh, I guess you know, it just didn't line up with the exact full moon party. As you guys can see, we do have a party right here. People are kind of uh, running all about, so let's park kind of farther away. We have Michael along with us in his Epsilon robe, so hopefully they'll see that and realize that we've come in peace. And uh, K-Mac, what do you think we have here? This is definitely a party. Yeah, it's funny. This guy just kind of like pulled up here. He just showed up. Uh, it is right about 12 o'clock here, a little after 12 o'clock. Uh, so it looks like this party is officially underway. Uh-oh, we have a jump right here. Oh, we do have a jump. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to have to uh, jump, jump the space that over? with the Space Stalker. Uh, judging by the car that I saw over there, this doesn't really look like hippies. Not uh, at all. This looks more like hipsters. Hipsters. And that kind of makes sense because, uh, well, Mirror Park um, is supposed to be kind of representative of Echo Park in Los Angeles, which is also an area which is known for... Kind of a hipster community, so hmm. um, this is kind of fitting. Now, the last place we went to had kind of beachgoers that were all chilling out doing a, their full moon party. Looks like we've kind of maybe stumbled on the hipsters version of the full moon party. Well, somehow the hipsters have taken our space docker. It has disappeared. So somebody stole that guy in the car. They took off of the car it. too. Yeah, the guy in the Prius not only stole the space docker. Bastards. Very uh, quickly, um, I might add. But uh, yeah, they, they pretty much left, and the party. It wasn't Omega, was it? Do you think Omega Hopped came in over we and looking? snatched it up real quick? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, the bottom line is, guys, this party is not the correct party. For one thing, it's not hippies. Uh, I think that's the one thing we're really looking we're out getting for. getting closer, though, where we found the hipsters party. Yeah. Now let's see if we can find the hippie party. We need to find Omega's crew. Yep. This doesn't look like Omega's crew. It's, it's certainly an interesting place. Uh, we will point out that uh, some of our subscribers are saying that this party can only be found when the full moon is overhead. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell us. Maybe come check it out. We'll check it out as well off screen. But uh, as for now, it doesn't seem to be anything special. Certainly a pretty cool place to have a full moon party. But Omega's nowhere present. Let's go ahead and uh, get the space docker once again. 
and try to go find the real the full real. moon party. Yes, we can do it. And Omega. There's the full moon. We have the space stalker. And we are going to fly all the way out to the island. I'm sure you guys remember the island where you normally have a bunch of uh, people hanging out next to a campfire. It's pretty mysterious on how they even got there in the first place. But there's a man at the altruist camp who's constantly staring at that island. So let's go check it out with the full moon out. And uh, hopefully that will be the location of the mysterious full moon party. Now, uh, Kyle, as far as the last location we checked out, yeah. talking about the one in the last episode, not the uh, the cul-de-sac there under construction, but uh, out in the field, um, we got some interesting feedback about that. Um, some people do think that that could possibly be hey, you know the right full we moon party, okay. but Somehow it's kind of an odd place to throw a party just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I don't think it's the uh, one we're searching for here. Like we said, I think... More of Omega's crowd is the, uh, is the actual hippie um, crowd that's in the game. I haven't seen either one of those at the locations we've gone to yet. First one we went to was kind of the beachgoers, um, probably kind of like the, the rougher crowd. I don't think Omega would really hang out with those people. Just to give you guys an Omega update, basically um, when we first met Omega in the storyline, uh, the first person we all thought of was The Truth, who's from GTA San Andreas, yep. also a hippie character. He had a farm. And uh, he helps CJ. In fact, uh, I think with the truth, that's the first time you go to San Fierro, which is San Francisco in GTA San Andreas. So when we met Omega, we definitely thought it was kind of like a reincarnation of the truth. And once you collected all the space parts, he was the one who gave you the space docker. And I don't know about you, K-Mac, but I was definitely thinking that the reward was going to be completely epic to have... You know, a character just like the truth in this game, but this is what we got, the Space Stalker, which as of right now is useless. It's a piece of shit so far. It's got trash cans on it, but uh, I think there's a little more to it. Just I think uh, Rockstar has been kind of holding us off of, from getting, mean, they've, been, they've been holding out on us, and uh, I think it's coming eventually, and uh, I think we just haven't found it yet, because I think there's some type of use for this Space Stalker uh, than what we think. Yeah, and continuing on with the uh, Omega update, uh, basically after he gave us the Space Docker, he just went MIA. He left, left us with the Space Docker. He kind of showed off a mini UFO, but uh, that's it. That's the last we saw of him. And uh, the funny thing is they had a next-gen trailer that they recently showed off for Grand Theft Auto V. And he was in it. In fact, he was kind of featured in it. So it was a space talker. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, I think that leads us to believe that he probably will make an appearance in some capacity again in Grand Theft Auto V Next Gen. Not talking about the main storyline that we're going to have to do all over again with him as far as collecting all the space parts. That's not going to be too exciting. All right. But, uh, you know, maybe he'll actually do something else. I think they're going to add new storylines, all kinds of new stuff, new animals, possibly new uh, drivable vehicles such as jetpacks. And uh, I think we could have more in store for Omega. Perhaps we could still find him in this I, current Yeah, gen. I think he I think he's probably somewhere in here. We just we haven't located him yet. And I think you got to be at the right place at the right time. And uh, we're coming up here at 12 o'clock and we're getting close to uh, to Party Island. We'll see if uh, he's out here. All right, there it is. We have found the correct island as we fly around with the Space Stalker in the Cargo Bob. Uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, definitely got a chill episode here for you guys. Let us know if you find any other parties. We'll make sure to check them out. And uh, perhaps we can find the Full Moon Party before the next gen edition of GTA 5 is actually released. So that way we get a nice head start. Yep. Here we go, FPS Kyle. I don't see uh, anything too crazy going on here. There's the, the fire. The fire there. Let's see if we can even see anybody circled around it. No, there's nobody here. Nobody's here. So the one thing that I think of when we keep coming across all these other party locations is how we, there's nobody here during the full moon. That yep. leads us to believe that they're all at the full moon party. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, also, yeah, we on the very first episode we did, we went to the uh, the beach there, which kind of resembled the uh, the real full moon party that happens in Thailand, and uh, nobody was there. But then we found the beachgoers over on the side of the road, uh, yeah. kind of doing their own party there. Uh, we found the hipsters, so maybe this is the location that normally the hippies are at, and uh, they are somewhere else right now, partying. There's one thing I do remember, uh, the one hippie talking about as far as the full moon party over there at the Sandy Shores UFO location and the wow signal, is I'm pretty sure he mentioned the full moon party is in the desert. Yeah, yep. I mean, that's where we, where we started there, so maybe we just need to... Uh... We need to go back there and, and search the area better because we had two locations we thought possibly could have uh, been a location for it in the desert there, but um, nothing was there. So I don't know. Maybe we need to double back there and uh, see what else we can find. I mean, is there? Uh, I'm sure, there's a party going with uh, without pants going on here. <laughs> yeah, a pantsless party. Pantsless party. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the full moon party should be in the desert. So we're going to have to uh, comb the desert. Just like in Spaceballs. And uh, let us know if you guys find any locations. I think the jetpack could be here at the Altruist Camp. There's a ton of stuff uh, just lying about here as far as equipment. But uh, maybe we still have to do something to unlock it. As we all know, the jetpack symbol is right there on that stone. Why is it here in the Altruist Camp? Hopefully one day we find out. Yeah, hopefully. Stay trippy, guys.